guys, hi, I'm Sarah Margaret. I'll be assisting you with the new self swab today. Okay. You can have your preference of sitting or standing. Great, right, I'll go ahead and sit. We recommend that you use the table in the test booth to place your sampling kit, and there will be hand sanitizer available for hand hygiene. All right, I'll go ahead and perform hand hygiene. The first step is to verify your identification and ensure that the birth date written on the test tube is accurate. All right, I'll go ahead and remove my test tube to ensure that my date of birth is correct. I'm checking for the right month, date, and year. Okay, this matches. Now you're ready to begin the self swab. All right, I'll go ahead and grab my swab by removing it from the tip that does not have the reabsorbent end. This is to ensure that the swab remains untouched and clean. A helpful tip is to hold the swab close enough to the absorbent tip that you have control of the swab, but you ensure that you do not touch for any contamination. I'm now ready to begin swabbing. I'm going to go ahead and remove my mask below my nose by keeping my mouth covered and swab each nostril for 10 to 15 seconds. With the anterior nasal swab, be sure to insert the absorbent tip into your nostril no more than three fourths of an inch. Using the mirror, it will be helpful to see that the absorbent tip is inserted into the nostril. I'm ready to begin swabbing and I'll count out loud to help myself keep track of how many swabs I've done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Any nasal drainage or blood on the absorbent tip is acceptable. I'm now ready to put my sample into the test tube. I'm going to carefully hold the test tube upright to ensure none of the reagent spills out while also holding the sample in my other hand and remove the cap. I'm now placing the sample inside the test tube and I'm going to break off the sample at the break off point and hold on to the sample to ensure it remains in the tube. The sample is now in the tube. I'm going to now place the cap on the tube and place the sample into the my biohazard bag. If in the case that you drop your cap on the ground, be sure to tell someone who works at the testing clinic and we will get you a new cap to eliminate any chance of contamination. My sample is now ready. Mm -hmm. I'm now going to discard my trash and reapply hand sanitizer. Alright, so now that you have done your surveillance sampling for the week, you will get your results between 24 and 48 hours. Be sure to do your daily symptom survey and schedule an appointment for next week so you are compliant with the testing policy. Perfect. Thank you.